Okay. So, good morning, everybody. So, today we will continue our lectures on the four number games. So, maybe there are, uh, will be still one or two more lectures about this topic. And next, we will move to the uh, basic concepts of the number theory. Okay. So, yeah, I know uh, this, this problem may be a little hard for all of us. But yeah, I think it's interesting. And once uh, we overcome this problem, yeah, we will enjoy the, the interesting thing in the number theory, at least, for me. Okay. So uh, last week, uh, do you still remember what's the length, the length, length of our number, four number key? And then yeah, we remember the end of our case, right? So we say uh, we say all the elements in the row are zero. Okay. So last week, uh, before we end the lecture, we uh, I just gave you an example. So um, did anybody try it? Okay, so let's do it together. So, the original game is nine, seven, five, one. Okay, just that you are, uh, say our first step or maybe our initial <coughs> value. So can you write that as seven five one? Okay, and after the first iteration you just got that. I think all of you are so familiar with the concept of calculation. Um, so we have three, two, three, six. Oh, we have So after seven steps of iteration, we just come to the end, right? Okay, so just let's, uh, let's just continue. So last time uh, I talked about the reflection and the rotation of the game. And uh, as we explained, the rotation doesn't change the step of the game, right? Okay, so does the reflection have the effect on our length of the game? Okay, so just let's just look at an example. Uh, so first, let's just try the vertical reflection. So when I say the vertical reflection, So it means our numbers are reflect by uh, as if there was uh, a mirror in the vertical direction. Okay. So after reflection, we just interchange the position of the two numbers here, so it's nine, and uh, the two numbers here. So we have a new case. Here our starting values are changed. So we have uh, seven, nine, one, five. Okay. So what's this line? Two, ten, ten. Yeah. Okay. And it's 
along the major diagonal. You think so? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> we could try. Okay. So let us just try. So we keep yeah, numbers at the, uh, on the major diagonal engines and Interchange position of five and nine. So we have a new game. Five seven. Nine one. Okay. Yeah, it looks just uh drop the same as the three three one because the rotation doesn't change the length of our game. So as you can see, we just put five. At the beginning of this game, it's just a five, seven, nine, one. But here, it's we just interchange uh, the uh, true position of our numbers. So what's the as one? Two. We have two here. Two. Two. Eight. Eight. Four. Four. Zero. Six. Six. Four. Four. have the manner diagonal reflection. So do you still think we should get the same length? And why? Since we got our sure? And I very example of the same. So okay. the must be fit. <laughs> but, but the yeah, mathematically speaking, yeah. Uh, well, we can do more examples. We can do fifty that's seven or seven million example, but we cannot say yeah. Yeah, just the same length unless we can prove it, right? Yeah. Okay. So can you prove it now? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm on the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so just look at this example. Nine, one, five, seven. So here it's eight, four, two. 
four. Right. Oh, he's alright. It's the same as uh, two, 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 six, right? Because you, you can just uh, rotate it a little, right? Okay. So it's equivalent to just post the end at the beginning, so just two, 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 six. Okay. So for this example, yeah, all of the reflections and the rotation just give us the same answer. Okay, so next time we will look at another example, and uh, yeah, uh, I wish I could finish the, the proof here next time, okay? So any questions? Okay, thank you. Have a great Tuesday.